just like PE. Okay, let's get moving. Find yourself some space. We're gonna to have to warm up our joints, warm up that body so that we don't injure ourselves. So out like this to start with, and point your fingers. And I'd like you to draw very, 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 very small circles with your fingers. Very small circles, just like this. And my arms are moving forwards. Okay, going forwards. And now my circles are getting bigger. And my circles are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now I've opened my hands, so I'm drawing enormous balls, and enormous huge hot air balloons. My shoulders are coming right up past my ears. They're just brushing my ears. Oh yeah, feel those muscles complaining because you haven't been using them enough. And then I'm going to stop and change direction. Now I'm going backwards with big circles, big circles. Oh, I can definitely feel that in my shoulders. And I'm getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Now it's about the size of a football. I switch to that pointing finger and I'm getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And smaller. And then I'm going to hold my hands out like this. I'm going to hold them here for 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm going to give them a shake. Oh, that feels good. Shoulders up to my ears and down again. Shoulders up to my ears and down again. Shoulders up to my ears and down again. Give your arms another bit of a shake. Okay, stand with your feet nice and wide. So you've got a base. Hands up like this. And we're just going to twist one way and the other way. One way and the other way, just like this. We can feel our back complaining. I've got quite soft knees for this activity. So it allows my body to really twist around. But I'm still making sure that I'm in control. I haven't ended up in a big pile on the floor, which I'm sure some of you will have at home, especially if you're not wearing sensible trainers. We'll do a few more of these and then we'll go on to some toe taps. Couple more twists. Twist, twist, last one. Twist. Okay, stand with your feet a little bit wider apart. Big star shape like this. And we're going to take this hand and touch that toe. And then we're going to swap. I'm not bending my knees yet. Arms up like this. Bend down and tap the toes. Bend down and tap the toes. One arm goes up, the other one goes down. Let's count eight more of these together. One, two, three, keep those legs, four, five, six, straight, seven, and eight. Well done, give your legs a little bit of a shake. Now we're gonna use some of the big muscles in the back of our legs. I'm turning to the side so you can see the shape I'm making. Okay, my feet aren't too wide apart in line with my shoulders. And then I'm going to sit on an invisible chair, like that. My legs are still pointing straight down. I'm sitting on that invisible chair. Most of the weight goes on the heel of my foot, not on my toes. We don't want to see our knees coming forward like this. We want to keep it so we're sitting on that invisible chair. See, just here, that invisible chair. These are called squats. And we're going to do 12 squats together. Keep those legs pointing straight down and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nearly there, nine, 10, 11, 12. Give your legs a bit of a shake. Oh, I bet you can feel those muscles. I know I can. Okay, this time our hands are up. And we're going to bring this knee up to meet this elbow. It's the opposite. So this knee comes to meet this elbow, and then we swap. It's knee to elbow and swap. Knee to elbow and swap. Keep going. That's it. Make sure you're definitely using the opposite. Nothing like this. It's definitely using that opposite arm and that opposite leg. Miss Rowe, I hope you're watching. Okay, there we go. And a couple more. One, two. Okay, you might need something to hold on to here. So these are our leg swings. We're going to start off with this leg. And we're just going to swing it gently up in the air and backwards again. 
Try and keep that balance really important. Definitely don't want piles of people lying on the floor at home. If you're finding it tricky, find a wall to hold on to and swing that leg. Feel the muscles stretch along the back of your leg as we warm those muscles up. That's great. And swap legs. Now we're using this leg. Big swings of the leg, forwards and backwards. Big swings. And relax, give your legs a bit of a shake. Grab your water bottle, have a quick drink. I'm gonna give you 20 seconds to be ready for the next step. You got about 10 seconds left. Well done, seven people doing our PE today. I hope other people at home are joining in as well, not just being lazy bones. We're gonna start our next set of activities. This is called a pyramid. We go up one side and down the other. So we start off nice and slow. We're going to do some marching, then faster jogging. Then we're going to run. And then we're going to get slower back down to jogging and then back down to marching. So that bit at the top, that run, when we really get our heart and lungs working really, really hard. We're going to start with marching in three, two, one, let's march. Really high knees, drive your arms as well. You're gonna use your whole body for this, not like this, really get those arms going. Marching with high knees. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds, and then 30 seconds of jogging. We've got about 10 more seconds left of our marching, and then we're gonna move on to jogging. Remember, don't go too fast on the jogging, because we've got the running to come straight after that. We're switching to jogging. Now, let's jog. Just on the spot, not going anywhere. Getting your heart working a little bit more. Working your lungs a little bit more as well. That heart, trying to pump blood all the way around the body to get oxygen everywhere. Make sure you keep breathing. Jogging on the spot. Let's have a look at our time. Okay, we've got about five more seconds of jogging and then we're gonna run as fast as you can on the spot. Let's run, faster, faster. Get those arms and legs going, 30 seconds. It's gonna be really, really tiring, but afterwards you get to slow down again, and that's fine. Really use those muscles, drive your arms and legs. Keep going, keep going, only 15 seconds left. Run, stop stopping, keep going. I can see you lazy bones, run faster, five more, as fast as you can. Go, three, two, one. And slow down to a jog again. Slow down to a jog, just bouncing on the spot. Take lots of nice, deep breaths. Get your energy back, fill your lungs, and allow them to move the oxygen around your body. Well done if you ran for all 30 seconds. That's a very long time. We're gonna switch back down to marching in about five seconds. So keep jogging on the spot for now. We're gonna switch back down to marching now, marching. Still get those arms and legs driving. Still get those arms and legs driving. Lift your knees higher, higher. Excellent. Keep it going, you're doing a brilliant job. Ah, after this, I get to sit in the shade and read Mr. Stink. I'm gonna be feeling great after this exercise. Couple more seconds of marching, and then we take a rest and rest. 20 seconds, catch your breath back, have a drink of water, meet me back here, ready for the next exercises. I'll give you 10 more seconds before we start the next set. This time, Lots of jumping activities, lots of jumping. And we're gonna do another pyramid. So we start with one, go up to another one, and then back down to where we started. Starting with star jumps, 
Hands and feet all tucked in. Some people call these jumping jacks. We're going to go out to make the star shape and then back in. Out and then everything comes back in. Out and then everything comes back in. We're not going to do it that slowly. We're going to go a little bit faster. Get into the habit of getting your star shape right and then coming back in. We're going to start our star jumps. And again, it's 30 seconds of star jumps in about 15 seconds time. So if you have just joined us, we're doing star jumps together. Star jumps together. And we're going to start those in about 10 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds of star jumps. And then we go on to our spotty dogs. After the spotty dogs, I'll show you some mummy kicks. Ready for your star jumps? Three, two, one, go. Really, really go as fast as you can with these star jumps, making sure your arms and legs stay nice and wide. I hope other people are doing this with you at home and they're not just watching you do all the exercise. Keep going with your star jumps, doing a brilliant job. We've got, oh, three, two, one, and stop. We're going straight into spotty dogs. Turn to one side, get your arms and legs going out this way. 30 seconds of spotty dogs. I can feel my heart pumping that blood quickly around my body. So I need to keep breathing, nice controlled breaths to make sure I've got enough energy to see me going all the way through to these mummy kicks. If you're tired, it's all right, we've got a rest coming up very soon. We've got mummy kicks on the way in three, two, one. Okay, mummy kicks. These might be new. We're going to flick our feet out at the front. And as we do that, our arms are going to cross over and under and over and under. So let's start with the feet first. This is the rest I was talking about. We're gonna use this training time to catch our breath back. With your feet, you're just kicking them out like this. And your hands at the same time are going over and under, crisscrossing like this. So we are using our legs and our arms and our core muscles, keeping our body nice and strong and nice and straight up. Okay, we'll start our mummy kicks in about 10 seconds. Fill your lungs with air. Get your feet and your hands ready. We're going in three, two, one, mummy kicks. When we finish these mummy kicks, if you can, we're gonna go straight back into those spotty dogs. So we're using similar muscles, just in a slightly different way, as a whole body workout, get ourselves feeling great. Get all those endorphins rushing into our brain, making us feel fantastic for the rest of the day. Some people saying they've been feeling blue, this will help you feel green. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, straight into spotty dogs. 30 seconds of spotty dogs. I'm going to change to the front, change to the side, change to the back, back to the side, and the front. We're going to go for 10 more seconds. Count them down with me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five star jumps coming up. Three, two, one star jumps now. Really keep going. Excellent exercise for your whole body. And it really gets that heart going. There's a rest after these star jumps. We've got about 15 seconds of star jumps left. Then we have a rest for about 40 seconds. Longer rest this time, ready for the last set of activities. Keep going, five more. Four, three, two, one. Brilliant job, everybody. If you've kept going the whole time, that is fantastic. I can see we've still got seven people following, which is amazing. Now use this time, catch your breath back, have a drink of water, come back when you're ready for our last exercise, which is all about our legs. I'll see you in about 30 seconds now.
about 15 seconds left. Don't rush. I've got some explaining to do. So you can have what we call a little bit of active recovery as you practice. We're going to use our big leg muscles. We're going to try and use all of the muscles in our legs. And sometimes they're going to feel like they're made of lead. They'll be so heavy. You've got to keep going and build up those muscles. It gets easier every time you do this sort of activity. The first one, you're an expert at already because it was in our warm-up. So we're going to do those squats. Feet, shoulder width apart. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see I'm sitting on that invisible chair. I'm not letting my knees come forward. Otherwise, you'll have real problems when you're an old man like me. We're sitting back on that invisible chair. See how low you can get your bottom to the ground. We're going to start those squats in about 15 seconds. So you might just feel comfortable sitting back like this. Or if you're feeling really confident and you've got lots of energy left, you might be able to lower yourself all the way down. Look, my legs still going straight down and then back up. Save some energy for the rest of the activities now. Ready to squat? Let's go. One, we're doing 15 again. Two, well done. Invisible chair. Three, don't let those knees go forward. Four, how far can you go? Five. Six, brilliant job everybody. Seven, eight, we're over halfway there now. Nine, keep going. Ten, five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last one, how low can you go? Fifteen. Oh, my creaking body. Okay, our next one is more leg muscles. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see. So I'm just going to step back with one leg and then push it down. Can you see this front leg? It didn't move again. That leg is still pointing straight down. Okay, nice wide step back. Slowly lower to the ground and up. And then I'm going to swap legs. And up. Keep that front leg so it doesn't bend over the toes again. Okay, these are our reverse lunges. We're going to do 10 each side. 10 plus 10, or double 10. I'm facing the side so you can see the shape of my legs. We're ready to go. 10, 10. Nice big step back and forward. I'm swapping legs every time. That's two each so far. That's three. Put your arms out to the side to help you balance if you need to. That's four each, nearly halfway. Here is the halfway point. Five each. Okay, four more to go. That's one. Keep an eye on that front leg. That's two. Three. Two more to go. Swap over. And the last one. One, two. Excellent job, everybody. Really good balance as well, using those muscles to support all of your body. Okay, <laughs> this one, I'm laughing because this one is really, really sore when you get to be a big, slow, old person like me. Okay, this is the squat bounce. We go into our squat. Instead of pushing back up, we stay down here and we bounce up and down. We're going to try to do that for 10 seconds. And this is where my body starts to go, please stop, please stop, but you are young and full of energy and you'll be absolutely fine. Let's go into our squat and we're ready to bounce for 10 seconds. Keep those legs nice and straight. Remember, invisible chair and bounce. One, two, three, four, five. Keep going. Six, seven, nearly there. Eight, nine, ten. Oh! Give those legs a shake. Give those muscles a rub. I know I can feel that squat bounce. If you find that too easy, you can take your squat bounce even lower and really work those muscles. Try that next time if that was too easy. Okay, similar muscles for the squat bounce is the squat sprint. We did a lot of sprinting earlier. This time, we're gonna go into our squat and we're gonna sprint from there. So we're holding ourselves down, using these muscles to hold us in this position, the invisible chair, 
and then we're going to sprint. Tricky one to do. We're ready to go in five seconds. Squat positions ready. Four, three, two, and sprint. See, I'm staying nice and low. I'm moving my feet as fast as I can. They're not coming high off the floor. I'm staying nice and low on my invisible chair. Five more. Four, three, two, one, and stop and shake. Woo, well done. Give yourself a high five. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a round of applause. One more to do before we do our warm down together. These ones are the frog jumps. A bit like a squat. My feet are going to be a bit wider. My hands are going to go down to the floor in between my feet. And then I'm going to reach up and jump. And down again. Reach up and jump. I'm keeping my feet apart as I jump. So when I land, I'm straight back into my frog position. Try and keep an eye on your knees. Don't let them go over your toes. Together, we're only going to do eight frog jumps. Only eight. And then we have our warm down. Legs ready, nice and wide. Hands together. If you're carrying on, if you've done this whole thing, well done, I'm super proud of you. All I want is for everybody to do their best and use all of their energy here today. Frog jumps ready. One. Two. Three. Four. Four. Halfway. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Come on. Eight. Well done, everybody. 20 seconds to have some water. Take some deep breaths. Ready for our warm down. Fantastic job. Ten seconds. Okay, if you're ready, you're back with me. We're just going to keep using our muscles, but really, really gently now. So I'm just going to reach out and tap my heels forward. I'm not using a lot of energy for this. Concentrating on getting my breathing back to normal. Tap those toes. Now to the side, out, out, that's it. Feel your heart rate coming back down. Put your hand here. You might be able to feel it, or a couple of fingers here. You might be able to feel it. Now take your toes backwards, just tap them behind you. Let those leg muscles recover. You're gonna do those things again, the front, to the side, and to the back. Swapping feet, keep myself nice and balanced, and I'm coming back to the front. And now to the side. As you're doing this, bring your arms up and down. Up and down. Up and down. And down to the back, keep your arms going. Very nice. Might take a bit of practice to get the rhythm, that's okay. Great job, everybody. Have to loosen our shoulders up a bit. Okay, let's take our feet nice and wide. We're going back to those twists from the morning activity, but we're going really slowly now. Really slowly with those twists. Brilliant job. Now extend your arms wide, but keep it slow and under control. Excellent. That's really nice. Bring your hands together, push them up over your head, and bring them down in a big circle. Cross them over, and another big circle. Cross them over, another big circle. This time, cross them over, but bring them to the top. Stretch as high as you can, up onto your tiptoes. Lean one way. Lean the other way, stretch up, deep breath in. Breathe out and give yourself a clap, everybody. Absolutely brilliant exercise today. If you've joined in with everything, that is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. That's a really tough 15 minutes. If you didn't join in with everything, that's okay, as long as you did your best. This whole time that I don't get to see you at school, 
All I'd like is for everybody to do their best. That way, we can be really proud of ourselves. I'm going to sign off now. If you'd like to do this again, I'll put the video on YouTube at the end of the day, and maybe you can get all the family around to join in again. Make sure you have plenty of water this afternoon because we've used a lot of energy there. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you soon.